Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Puffingfish and today we are going to be looking into a zombie conversion machine. So this basically, uh, well I might as well demonstrate, right? So uh, yeah, we're going to have to queue up the villagers and get one in there. So the villager will come in here and get damaged by a zombie, get converted into a zombie villager and uh, then he'll be transported over and then be splashed with a potion of weakness and then he'll be ready for you to um, right click him with a golden apple and then he'll then be ready be curing and you can just drop him into some sort of queue anyways guys this is a really uh, cool design I've been working on this for quite some time and I think this is probably the most refined version I've got it's the fastest one I've made and is the most reliable so uh, yeah it isn't actually all that complicated so I'm really 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 excited to show you guys this so uh, without further ado let's get into the tutorial okay for materials you're going to need a good amount of some type of solid block uh, 24 redstone dust three blocks of redstone two of which could be something to just power rails uh, two stone buttons, they have to be stone uh, just because they have slightly different timing than wooden buttons. Uh, then we're going to need one redstone lamp, two fence gates of any type, doesn't really matter, uh, one water source, um, two of any type of trap door, one redstone torch, three repeaters, one dispenser, two observers, five rails, four powered rails, two detector rails, and two sticky pistons. All right, and for other stuff you're going to need, you're going to need a zombie that can hold an item, and you're going to need a sharpness five iron or diamond sword. You're also going to need a good supply of weakness, splash potion of weakness potions, and you're also going to need a good amount of minecarts, and uh, I'd recommend having a villager breeder set up to this so you can uh, do this almost infinitely and obviously to cure these guys you need golden apples but uh, these two are kind of required so I'm gonna let you guys pause the video and gather everything up here and we can get building alrighty guys so you're gonna want to start things off with some sort of diagonal um, pathway for your rail to go on and uh, I've just got a three block long one so we're just gonna place normal rails going all the way down here this last one make sure you make that a powered rail then you're gonna place a block like this and this and then uh, put a powered block so I'm just gonna put a redstone block so you know that that block needs to be powered and I'm gonna place a rail and then two powered rails like that alright and the next thing we're gonna do is place a fence gate just make sure this is still closed and uh, then what we want to do is we want to make sure the villagers when they come down here and then they're pushed along uh, we want to make sure that they land in a specific block so we want to have it so they just come bump up against this block here all right and from here you just want to come down two more blocks like this and then put a floor in um, I'm just gonna put it like that for now and then what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and um, get ourselves a bit of a zombie holding cell here so uh, on the block that they drop on the next one over you're gonna place your block that the zombies gonna go in and do something like this okay and so now the zombie will be right in here so you're gonna get your trap door and you're gonna wanna drop your zombie in here I am going to get a command to get a zombie that picks up items Already, I have my zombie in here and we're gonna give him that sharpness five sword so he picks it up there we go so this way uh, he will actually kill the villager quicker which actually means he'll convert him quicker um, and yeah so the next thing we're gonna do is place a trapdoor right there uh, this is I don't know I, it seems to be a bit more consistent with the trapdoor and then right above that you're gonna put a fence gates and make sure that is opened Alright, and so this is an optional thing, but just so we can see what's going on, I'm going to use some glass, but this is totally optional um, and not required. So I'm just going to place some glass here, but you will need to make sure that there is glass and stuff on this wall here. Alright, so now down here, what we're going to do is grab that water source, place it right there. 
and now there will be enough time for the villager to be converted into a zombie villager. Alright, in this next little step here, what we're going to do is we're going to place a powered rail, so this way we can pick up the minecart, and then we're going to place a another powered rail, so we need two powered rails, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to get a detector rail right on that third one there. And then I would uh, make sure that you are powering these powered rails here, and uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so in this little circuit here, it's really simple. All we got to do is take an output from the um, detector rail here, and we're going to push it into a block, and that is going to have a piece of redstone dust right above it. And then there's going to be a block right here. Now, right above that block, we're going to place our dispenser for uh, shooting out the weakness potions. And then, uh, yeah, I'd hook this up to your weakness potion refilling, however you want to do that. Okay, so now that is all good to go. So now what we need to do is make sure that the zombie can get into the little chamber where we cure him personally. So we get the nice, um, really, really fun trades that are super overpowered. So I'd make a small little drop shoot. Uh, I'm just going to make mine uh, not that big. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is about as big as you'd need it. I'm going to make a little platform here so we can stand like so. And then right up here, I would recommend placing a, uh, um, a lamp because um, this will let us know if we have gotten a villager. So that reminds me, we actually need to replace this here, do that, and then go ahead and place the detector rail right here. And so with this detector rail, we're going to go ahead and detect when something goes past it. So when a minecart goes past this, it will activate the detector rail and uh, this will um, see the block update change. So now what we're going to do with that is we're going to get ourselves a sticky piston with a redstone block right on top like so. And then uh, so this is where it's going to be extended to so just come down so that the redstone that will be under it is going to be powered. And just come all the way to the other side here and uh, just do something like this and wire it up. Uh, and that's just the simplest way to wire it up I think so just like that and that way this thing will turn on when a minecart goes over this so we know that we have a villager coming through the system alrighty so now we need to wire up our buttons this is a little bit more challenging so we're just gonna place two buttons here and do the easy one first so this button um, on the farthest side away from everything place a torch on the other side and go ahead and place a block right in front of it with redstone dust and then um, actually if you're in survival I'd recommend not placing the redstone dust and putting the piston in then placing the redstone dust and now that p sticky piston has the um, basically when you press this button the zombie will be able to fall out now obviously if you want him to go somewhere else you can hook that up but I think this is the easiest way to collect your zombie okay so this button is a little bit more complicated because what this button is doing is essentially making sure we only get one villager at a time. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we are um, able to get a signal out of this. So what we want to do now is get a repeater uh, taking a signal from this button. Going into a block here, this will not power this just so you guys know. And then you're going to have it coming into a block here. And what I've done is I have just uh, kind of made it so uh, we have just enough room to kind of get up here. And, um, I did it right, which looks like I did. It will line up like that. So you can put uh, some redstone dust going all the way down here, um, just like this. And the signal will not run out because this will be uh, given a very high signal strength. So we should be fine. Um, but just a word of caution, if this is longer than I believe 15, uh, you would definitely want to put in a repeater to refresh the signal so that it gets to this uh, power rail. Alright, so here is where we want to put in the observer and we just want to make sure that the output is upwards. Uh, place two blocks like so and then two pieces of redstone just like that. What this will do is put in a one tick pulse to allow one villager to go through and then we're able to 
um, get our villagers. Okay, so the next thing is to finish up this wall. Again, this can be any type of block. I'm using glass so we can see kind of what the progress is of this little build. Alrighty, so this is almost complete, guys. The next thing that we need to do is just make sure that we have um, everything nice and ready. So uh, to make sure that we have stuff ready, we wanna make sure that this is filled with your weakness potions. Uh, because obviously if those, there's no weakness potions, you're not going to be able to um, throw the golden apple at the guy down there. So I'm just going to fill this one with some weakness potions. The next thing that we want to make sure we do is have some golden apples to cure the zombie villagers who come from this system. Alright, and the next thing is you want to make sure that you have this so the queue is correctly set up. Uh, and what I mean by that is you don't want this queue to be flat. Um, the, the reason there is a like diagonal line here is so that we don't as so basically that we make sure that we always get a villager most of the time. Alright so uh, the next thing we need to do is prime the system so I know that sounds kinda weird but uh, if you want this to work on the first button press um, you'll often have to make sure that you have a um, villager ready so if we go ahead and put a villager <clears throat> in a minecart here push him down you'll see uh, that if we press the button he's not actually going to go through uh, and that is due to him not being fully on this rail here so now that he is this should work fine if you queue up more and more villagers when you run out of villagers um, it basically is fine so all we got to do is press the bus button again and he'll come through the system, he'll go right through there, and you'll see he'll get turned into a zombie, and he'll get pushed in there, and he will be then uh, potionified. Um, this one is on fire, so yeah, that reminds me, it's a good idea to put a roof above this if there's direct sunlight above. So anyways guys, uh, that is the build. This next little part of the video is going to be a bit more about the um, technical uh, aspects of kind of troubleshooting this build so yeah okay so there's probably a lot of problems I have not thought of which is why there's a discord link in the description below so I'd go check that out so you can uh, get help from the community and also myself anyways let's go over some problems that I have thought of so the first one being a really simple one that your difficulty is on normal or easy mode um, this design uh, is very um, it will run a lot quicker and better if it is on hard mode because um, villagers will be converted to zombie villagers 100% of the time if on hard mode normal mode I believe that is 50% and I am easy is a lot less than that I don't exactly know but uh, if you're not getting zombie villagers every time that is uh, could be your issue and uh, yeah there really isn't if you're on a server and you can't change the difficulty um, you're just gonna have to rely on that 50% to get your villagers but it's not that big of a deal in my opinion uh, so yeah the next thing that could go wrong is that this guy isn't hitting the villagers quick enough now uh, if this is the case uh, what I would do is I would move this over one block here so that you have three blocks of water instead of just two and the only reason that this would happen is if you have a server um, server lag and stuff isn't happening but this should be a pretty lag proof um, from being affected by it it can cause a bit but not a ton uh, just because there's not a huge amount of entities all the time so um, yeah now the next thing that I would also consider is the sword uh, if it is anything other than an iron or a diamond sword with sharpness 5 uh, you that that will be your problem because sharpness 5 and iron or diamond will do just enough damage to convert the villager in two hits. Any other sword will not do that. So, uh, yeah, iron is the cheapest. I recommend iron. <laughs> but if you want to, you know, flash this guy out, give him a diamond one. Uh, it'll work just the same. And the last thing uh, that I can think of for troubleshooting is that this it needs to be um, delayed a bit more here because again on a server. Sometimes you can get lag and this doesn't happen quick enough. So what you can do um, for this is you can basically um, stop the villager 
uh, here with a um, power rail. Make sure this is a regular rail and this one's being powered so he gets enough momentum to get to this one. Make sure he stops and then you can manually trigger this or set up some sort of um, way to figure out if he's there or not. Um, but this usually should work. Uh, if it doesn't, what you could do is also install a piston here and so then uh, when you hear the thing go off, you can then have a button to retract the piston and let him down. Anyways, uh, that is kind of all the troubleshooting I can do. And by the way, this would be the block that you want to put the piston on, not this one. <laughs> Pointing to the wrong one, sorry guys. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for today. Um, and as always, if you guys are interested in just uh, knowing some more stuff about this farm, the Discord in the description below is the way to go. You can get uh, all sorts of advice from fellow um, technical Minecrafters, including some even more smart people than me, uh, and I am on there, of course, and so are a ton of other fans just like you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful. Uh, yeah, this was quite interesting, um, and yeah, I, I, uh, I had a really fun time designing this, and um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.